Now don't go away because we'll be right back to do the math and solve for X with the Jaguar X-Type. Just looking at the specs and the market it's aimed toward, you'd be hard-pressed to believe the Jaguar X-Type comes from the same litter as the XK8 Coupe. Siblings for sure, but like many brothers and sisters, they're as different as they come. Great expectations. That best describes our state of mind when we first saw the new Jaguar X-Type. And why not? When you begin to do the math, all the variables regarding the X-Type appear to add up. But with this being Jag's first venture into the burgeoning entry luxury segment, we thought it would be best if we first solve for X. The answer turns out to be positive. First, though, a reminder of how the math works. The X-Type, which is Jaguar's first foray into the 3 Series A4 and C-Class entry-level luxury segment, aims to double the mark's sales worldwide. The base X-Type comes in with a suggested retail price of $36,595, although our well-loaded tester carried a price tag of just over $45,000. Buyers can choose between a 2.5 liter V6 and a 3 liter V6. Because more power is better than less, we outfitted our X-Type with the 3 liter. It's rated at 231 horsepower at 6,800 RPM, and it packs 209 pound-feet of torque at 3,000 RPM. Not neck snapping, but sufficient. One source of doubt about whether people would like the X-Type is the fact that its underpinnings are derived from those of the European Ford Mondial. This generation of the car once sold here as the Ford Contour. In reality, the Jag only shares a few small chassis panels and its engine block. Jaguar says their version has been reinforced significantly for sound dampening and stiffness. In fact, Jaguar boasts that by the time the Leaper hood ornament goes on the car, its static rigidity is 30% better than that of the nearest luxury segment competitor. 30% more rigid translates into a tight ride, a quiet cabin, and a luxury feel characteristic of the mark. What's not characteristic of the Mark is the fact that the X-Type is all-wheel drive with a 60-40 front-to-rear torque split. The X-Type's drivetrain adds weight, but it also adds a solid, planted feeling that soon makes you forget that the car has any Ford DNA. Our tester came with the Sport Package, which adds 17-inch alloy wheels, performance tires, and stiffer suspension. Anyone who prioritizes driving then should consider the $2,000 option. But to get the sport package, you must first take the $2,500 premium option. Both packages together give you leather, rear spoiler, blacked out grill, and lots of power accessories in addition to the noticeable performance upgrades. How noticeable? Turn in response is crisp. Balance nearly neutral, and attitude is easily adjustable via the throttle pedal. Body roll, too, is nicely controlled, not too mushy, and not too stiff. Inside, the X-Type is all Jaguar as well. It features touchscreen controls, full power, of course, and a healthy dose of leather, chrome, and wood grain style finishes. All things considered, the X-Type isn't perfect, but it is a real Jaguar, from the way it looks both inside and out, as well as its fit, finish, and road manners. In the real world, the X-Type shows a clear Jaguar character. We suggest that shoppers doing their sums will find X offers a distinct answer to the entry luxury equation, a solution distinct from C or 3 or even A4. See, it's all starting to add up. For Auto Week, I'm John Senna. Car keys.